Netflix recently released the anticipated Ron Howard film, Hillbilly Elegy, based off the 2016 memoir by J.D. Vance, starring Amy Adams and Glenn Close. The film is about the life of J.D. Vance, who grew up in Middletown, Ohio. J.D. Vance has aspirations of attending Yale Law School, but he needs to nail his interview to this highly respected, yet very exclusive institution. However, he has a slew of obstacles he has to overcome along the way, such as his financial situation and class identity, as well as his mother's addiction to heroin. The film structure is JD as a young adult getting ready for his interview with Yale, but having to travel back to Ohio because his mother relapsed on her heroin problem. Along the way, there are periodic flashbacks to JD as a child growing up with his mom and grandma. The film has received mixed reviews. Sherry Linden of The Hollywood Reporter explained that the film embraces the emotional messiness of a heart-wringing country song, but lacks a haunting refrain to get under your skin. And I'd have to agree. My interpretation of Linden's take is that while this film has all the elements to be a very strong film, a story about a working class family, strong performances, themes of addiction, acceptance, and family, the movie delivery of these elements feels flat and doesn't give the viewer the type of reflection Ron Howard was aiming at. As for me, I see three giant negatives for the film. The handling of certain themes and culture, the structure of the story, in the writing and or dialogue in general. The one positive for me regarding the film is the performances. So let's tackle each positive and negative one by one. For starters, for a film that's based off true life events, the drama in the film couldn't feel more inauthentic. There are multiple moments in the film where the friction between JD and his mom Bev feel forced. JD and his mother will start out as seen having a completely fine relationship, then a minor inciting incident will occur that triggers his mother into hysteria. This shallow friction in their relationship creates an avoidance of any sort of emotional connection we are supposed to feel with the characters. This film also unfortunately falls into the trap of including cliche tropes of any film about a character struggling financially. We've all seen the scene in any film where the protagonist, who doesn't have a whole lot of money, has to sort between different credit cards when the first one is declined. This trope is included in hundreds of films, which makes the film stand out less as an original work of art. Also, the stakes don't feel as high as they should be, in my opinion. The movie tries to make it seem like JD has to get into Yale Law School, and if he does not, then he'll never escape the middle American, poverty-laden way of life that he was born into. But that's simply not true. Yale is an extremely exclusive institution, and there are other alternative law schools. The film missed an opportunity to condemn this sort of elitism from places like Yale and instead made them the solution to the problem. The last issue I have with the film is the structure. Films with periodic flashbacks are extremely difficult to pull off successfully. Many films fail to recognize the point of flashbacks and I'm afraid this film does as well. Flashbacks should only be included to meaningfully inform the present rather than just convey information. A perfect example of flashbacks done correctly is in Slumdog Millionaire because each flashback relates to Jamal's question he has to answer on the game show. In Hillbilly Elegy, the flashbacks don't meaningfully inform the present but rather reinforce one idea over and over again. And that is the fact that JD's mom is an absolute mess. These flashbacks serve as a device to carry the story along and, as a result, make the movie feel formulaic and less exciting. Okay, 
Now the positive. There are positives in every movie, so don't think I'm a super negative reviewer. The performances are excellent, despite the awkward dialogue, Amy Adams, Glenn Close, Gabriel Bazo, Haley Bennett, and Freda Pinto do exceptionally well at delivering it. I wouldn't be surprised if Amy Adams and Glenn Close each sneak their way into an Oscar nomination. The way they emote and embody the mother and daughter dynamic between the two of them gravitates the audience deeper into the world of the film and that's something to admire. I'd give Hillbilly Elegy 6 stars out of 10. If anything, check out this movie for the strong performances. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and if you could hit the subscribe button, that would be greatly appreciated.